I am Dr. Charles Apoki. Just across here, over the fence, there is a lounge near me, and there is a high piece. He, he hypes the people to either drink, spend money, dance, or do whatever. A high priest is somebody who amplifies, exaggerates, and motivates you beyond to do what you would not have done without him. There is a, an overhyping of the word anointing. Jesus Christ, the Messiah, is the anointed one. Anointing is the confirmment of authority to function in a role or office. Anointing is the connection of divinity to humanity to function beyond installed capacity. Anointing is the connection of divinity to humanity to bring down the tangibility of divinity to humanity. An anointing makes you a step-down transformer of the glory of God so that you can retail God to people. But God is not only capacity, God has character. So there is the nature of God which is shown in the fruit of the Spirit of God. While the power of God is shown in the gifts of the Holy Spirit. But the knowledge or the identification of those who are of God is by the fruits. The anointing is a seed, is a potential. The fruit is a result. Now, in African Pentecostalism, there is an overhyping of the anointing. There is nothing any preacher in Nigeria or Africa or even globally is doing that I have not seen or I have not done. I'm not exaggerating. Anything outside that is questionable. And so every pastor is trying to overhype himself by sharing outrageous testimonies. Testimonies that are very, very outrageous, questionable, that um, sometimes you wonder if the person sharing that testimony about his own anointing ever, ever thinks that the people he's talking to are reasonable. And you will ask, of what use is that testimony? If not for self-aggrandizement, edification and projection, so that the people can be subservient to you, so that they can, be, they can bow to you, so that they can be enslaved by you, so that you can get mammon out of their pockets and let them perpetually run after you. When Jesus healed people, don't tell any person. He will tell them. Don't tell any person. He will disappear. But here, we want to take all the glory with full chest. Full chest. It is because the fruit of the Spirit is not really in us. We are not different from worldly people. Now, there is an overhyping of the Holy of the of the anointing. In 2 Kings chapter 4, from verse 1 to verse 7, there was a prophet who worked in a big ministry, Elijah and Elisha ministry worldwide. But worldwide. I know some of them now are now worldwide. But the man died poor. So anointing without intelligence will be irritating. Anointing without self-control will be catastrophic. Anointing without tangible social evidence 
according to my Archbishop Ben Sinida, who's a blessed memory, will lead to annoyance. So, apart from just being anointed, you must produce tangible results. I once went into this factory here. I, my residence is part of a factory that I bought. My school is part of a factory. And I told God, if I don't produce tangible, replicable, legitimate, unquestionable, explainable results, young people from my community and my family will not serve you. So I've produced results. I was in a class at 56 to do masters. I made the best result when my professor, now professor, Franklin's Sanubi introduced me that I'm a great man of God there. I made the best result. I had to just make the best result. And it came from diligence, came from consistency, it came from hard work. Anointing does not suspend your brain or should not also suspend the brain of your hearers and listeners. Most of what we see in Pentecostal churches in Africa is as if brains have been suspended or the intellect assassinated. So if you are anointed, it behoves you to produce results. It behoves you to work hard. It behoves you to be responsible. It behoves you to be disciplined. Anointing is not enough. Anointing is of a height. Particularly you young men running after anointing, running after anointing, running after anointed men of God. You pack sand, you drink dirty water, you buy soap, you buy that, you buy that. Something is wrong with your brains. That's why I have a seminar coming up on tagged sustainable development in life, ministry, business, and career. Coming up on the 13th and on the 14th of September. Make sure you send a message to plus 2347052136763 and I will send you the flyer. I remain Dr. Charles Apoki. God bless you.